The Indian doctors are beautiful. They are healers. I've been to five of them, five Indian doctors with my grandmother. And we'd go down there, the, we went down to T-Bar, went up the hill, and my, I've been doctored there. And, uh, ever, and my grandmother would take me to different places. There was another Indian doctor that lived here in Happy Camp, up here on the hill. Her name was Grandma Hoodley. And she was a very good, dear friend to our family. We called her grandma because she was, seemed like a grandma to all of us. And we used to, when we were children, go and visit her up there. And she was, uh, uh, my mother lived right across from her before she became an Indian doctor. Grandma Hoodley, as I said, lived up here on the hill. And before she became an Indian doctor, she didn't want to become an Indian doctor. And she fought it to keep from being an Indian doctor. But she would be have things placed on her where she would have the dreams or telling her where to go to find certain feathers and certain things. And uh, so she uh, didn't, like I say, she didn't want to, and she used to fall over in faints. And she told my mother, my mother lived right across from her, and she told my mother, any time she said that you see grandma, she said, I'll try to make it to the door and I'll always have, like our ichnish here, on the stove, it was tea. And she said, you get, come down there, you take that tea and try to get me to drink a little bit, raise me up and start me dancing, she said, and I'll be all right. And so then she, um, when she finally gave up and became the Indian doctor, she, doc, as you know, most all the Indian doctors doctor a little differently. They have different things, the way they doctor. And she took, and she, her doctoring was with a pipe. And I used to go there with my grandma. And she, I've seen him doctor, and she would take and go and she'd sat there on the little box and the Indian songs came to her and she'd start singing and dancing and she had this pipe with her and she would go over to the patient and she'd place the pi pipe on this person and she would I guess just draw it out and then she'd come over and then she took the pipe and then she would do like that and get it in her hand and I was very curious, being young, you know how young people are very curious. Mm -hmm. I went over and I wanted to see what was in her hand. And it was like a little bunch of worms in there. And then she would take that and then she'd set the, sit there and uh, she'd go back and, and start, she'd stand there and start dancing and dancing and dance till all of that went away and she'd open her hands up and there was nothing in her hands. I've seen that happen. Another doctor, that old doctor, was uh, Fanny, they called her. She lived down here above where our Grange Hall is. And one time my sister, when we lived above here, my sister May, she was climbing a little fence when she was young and she slipped and, and twisted her ankle. And I don't know whether it strained or broken, we did not know. So my mother said, well, come with me, Sarah. She said, we'll go down to Fanny and let Fanny doctor her. So I went with my mother. We went down along the old ditch. There used to be an old ditch over there below where the airport is. And she lived just below the airport over there. And at that time, we didn't have any white doctors here, just Indian doctors. And uh, then we had... Uh, um, midwives to deliver the children. We didn't have doctors. And so I went with mother, went down there, and Fanny, she, we went in there, and uh, I guess you probably know, Charlie, that when you want to be doctored, if you go there, you place a little money in their hand. Mm -hmm. If they accept that money, then they've got to doctor you. But if they see that they cannot help you or you're 
too far gone or something and they don't do it, they'll give you the money back, but they will not doctor you. So they took the money and they doctored my sister's ankle there, you know, doctored her and all. And they took this fanny, the way she doctored, what, it was by mouth. She would just place her mouth on any place where she was doctoring and suck that all out of there. She did that to my sister's ankle. And do you know, my sister had never had any problem after that. She ne didn't, no problem ever. I have been doctored when I went with my grandmother. And I've been doctored before with the pains of, if you have any pains or anything, they take them off of you. And it's, they, they claim and told me the way that I was told years ago, that they take, when they take these pains off of you, they send them away to a high mountain where none of the Indians go, way up in the hills. And I'd like to go back a little bit I and tell you, my mother was born over on the Salmon River. Her name was Anna Stores. And then she married Chris Barney, my dad. And when she was just a girl, 12 years old, well, my father, her husband, my Phoebe, my grandmother, had uh, those children with her over there. They were, her dad was, they were mining over there, way up at No Nothing Creek, was my, where my mother was born. And she, my mother, he, he wanted mother to go back to England with him, but mother didn't want to go. So she, so they separated. He went back to England and left my mother there, my grandmother there. And so when mother was 12, she walked with my grandmother and family. They came, uh, walked all along the river. There was no roads or nothing, just trail along the river. And they walked to Happy Camp here. And the first place that they stayed in Happy Camp was up here at the Buckhorn, and which later became the Buckhorn Lodge up there. Yeah. And uh, they, 